I'm a very active businessman, also a community leader. I have a great experience working with the Mitchell Bell. And he is for everyone. And he lived in City 13 for the last 31 years, has many, many, many years of working in the City 13. He is not from Orange County. He's from here. I am not from Orange County. I'm from here. We, did, we don't need to bring somebody from Orange County to represent City 13 in City Council. Agree? Agree. Thank you. And Mitch has a great experience. And Mitch has worked very, very hard with the community activists, community leader, leaders from many different communities within the City 13. My name is Cindy Hubach and I'm the founder of the Legion Valley Community Garden. And when I needed help getting the garden off the ground, Mitch O'Farrell was there for me and there for us. And I didn't just have to turn to Mitch, he reached out to help us. He told us, I will do whatever I need to do, whatever I can to help you get this garden off the ground. He helped us get grants, he showed up to events. He was there for us whenever uh, we needed him. As he has always been and continues to do, he is the picture of integrity, honesty, caring, commitment. I have never known anybody with the personal financial qualifications of Mitch. I just think he's an exceptional human being. We're so lucky to have him um, to want to represent us. So um, we know that when we need help in the city, we turn to Mitch O'Farrell. I'm Diane Edwardson. I've lived in Silver Lake for 23 years. He worked tirelessly on CEQA issues. So some of the claims are I've been getting phone calls and mailers from the Troy campaign saying Mitch wants to throw out CEQA. I've, I am just shocked to read and when Mitch, no one worked harder to protect the native trees on the site and to get more of a of a of a better better compromise for the community to work with the community and to to make things better for all of us in the community than Mitch. There is no one, no one that I want to represent me in my neighborhood and District 13 other than Mitch O'Farrell. Mitch has always stood up for us and now I'm proud to stand here with Mitch. And now I would like to introduce our great uh, council member, Bill Rosendahl, a fighter in City Hall. My God, I, I didn't mean to steal anybody's thunder, especially with colleagues. Uh, last I know, with this great guy, look at him, Big B, and this great guy. My Lord, oh look, I don't need to look at any notes. I know exactly where I am on all of this. There are three things that matter. One, if you have the integrity and honesty and decency and really feel you work for the people, that's number one. Number two, if you've spent 10 years in the trenches, as Tom LaBanche has mentioned to me, regarding him. I mean, he jumps out of the car, he looks at an issue, he talks to the people. I've been in the district. I've seen the love and sensitivity toward him for being a good field deputy. 10 years working real hard. And the third thing, I'll be a little personal, he's an openly gay man. In his 50s, he's fought for basic gay and civil and human rights for women and for gay people. So he's all of those three things. But the most important, as Tom LeBond said to me, is what do you do for your constituents? Ten years he's done that. He's equipped, he's experienced, he knows what he's doing. As for his opponent, it's a little simple story. They put him in there and they hope he could win. Uh, and he's not going to win. The guy who's worked in the community, who knows the community, who's been positive in the community, is going to win. And that's Mitch. That's why I'm here. Yeah. He's well prepared, he's lived in the community, and I just would like to reemphasize the issue of integrity. Uh, if he gives his word, he will follow through. I think it's important that we distinguish what he's accomplished and you go out, touch it, feel it, smell it, as opposed to what people may promise they will do if given the opportunity. And I think we need to invest in the individual that's invested in the city. It's important also that 
when you think about what's the most important thing that's confronting the city today, and that's the budget. Should we give a person the opportunity to have a trial and error and learn on the job, or should we pick a person that's had 10 years of understanding what it takes to put a budget together and how to implement the budget and how to maintain a budget throughout the fiscal year? I think the best person for that position would be Mint because he's had that experience. I think one of the things that's also, and I'd ask the press, I think you have a role in this election. When you hear a candidate make outrageous statements such as another candidate is going to cut secret, he's going to gut it. He's going to personally fire 500 police officers. He's going to force 13,000 people out of their homes. Those are physically impossible, particularly since as a candidate, he has no authority, and as a councilman, he needs another eight or ten votes. So when another candidate makes those kind of allegations, it's important that the press identifies them as such and to show the public just how desperate this other candidate is. And I think that's what I'm hopeful for today, to reemphasize my support for Mitch, to be with him on May 21st when he wins that election, to see him come into office uh, July 1st. But clearly it's important for the public to understand the positives from the negative, the truth from the falsehoods, and we depend on the press to do that. Uh, again, when there's that level of desperation, I don't think we can invest in a person that would take that kind of liberties with someone's integrity. And so I'm here to tell Mitch, we're here for you. We want to see you elected. Certainly look forward to working with you. This young man right here has a great heart, has a great mind, and has a great hands. And the only dirt you're going to see on his hands is the dirt that he gets cleaned up in neighborhoods, volunteering with other community leaders to make neighborhoods clean. The only dirt you're going to see on Mitch is that, that he gets on lifted bulky items into a city trash truck to clean up a neighborhood. The only dirt you're going to see is that it's in, the, in the storm drains and cleaning up the L.A. River and making a difference. This is a guy who gets it done. And as a councilman that is right next to it, where I live within 250 feet, Thanks to redistricting, I hope all the people who voted for me voted for you. I gave you a lot of those districts in this redistricting. <laughs> we need this guy because he will make a difference in the neighborhood. Mr. Park spoke eloquently about the business sense, working for the president of the city council. I got a lot of that working for John Ferraro for many years. Mitch got that working for Eric. He knows the district, he knows the people. And I'm so sorry that the opponent has taken it to a level that the people of this district, which are very good people who make great inspirational moves throughout the neighborhoods, has to go to this. This is the man we want, Mitchell Farrell, City Council. From Little Armenia to Atwater Village, from Glassell Park to Hollywood, and every single neighborhood, every street, every community in between, working with members of every community and Eric Garcetti, we have made this district cleaner, better, more vibrant, and safer by over 60% over the last 10 years. I know the community members by name. You've heard many of them speak this morning. I've helped keep community members in affordable housing. I've fought with community members to open more parks and create additional open space. Red car property is our future open space that I'm working and committed to preserving. I've cut the red tape at City Hall to open our small businesses. I've done this for 10 years while working in Council District 13. The residents of this district deserve someone ready to serve on day one. I am ready. Council District 13 is not for sale. My opponent in this race and his nine super PACs have raised $1.2 million. Over 90% of that money coming from outside Council District 13, most of it from outside the city of Los Angeles. But here's what you cannot buy. 31 years of being rooted here in the 13th District, 21 years as an active participant in this district, volunteering and working to make it better. My vision of City Hall is where the business of the people gets done by dedicated public servants like the distinguished gentlemen standing behind me, not big money politicians serving their big money donors and super PAC donors. I am here to bridge the gap between the people and the city. It's what I've been doing for 10 years. 
I just want to do it in a more official capacity.